So I've been using KiCad 5.0 exclusively for the past three to four electronics projects. And if you have not, I highly, highly recommend you to try it out. It's an open source electronics design automation software. Uh, you can make your schematics, your footprint really, really great. I love it. But uh, initially, I was very, very confused about the library management, especially since I had a shared library and I wanted to kind of share the same symbols or footprints across different projects until I saw a KaiCon talk by Peter, KaiCon 2019, and he spoke about from idea to production. And in slide number 10, he talked about using personal KiCad libraries as sub-modules. Well, I was already using Git for my KiCad projects and kind of put it with my firmware and other documentation. But when he said about using it as sub-modules, the library part, I was intrigued. So if you go to GitHub, you will find uh, KiCad already has its own official uh, KiCad symbol uh, repository. And it also has the KiCad footprints uh, repository, which it uses along with the 3D package. Now for today's uh, example, I want to use the DigiKey KiCad library. It comes with uh, its own symbols and footprints, and we will basically acquire it as a sub-module for a project. So I'm going to start up my KiCad uh, application and I am using 5.1.0. I believe the latest one is 5.1.4 as released in August. So let me create a new project and I'm going to just put it as example right on the desktop. Now, the first thing you will see uh, on the main page of KiCad is under preferences. If you go to configure path, you see the various environment variables and under this, you'll also have manage symbol libraries and uh, manage footprints. So I'm going to quickly fire up the schematic editor. And from here, I'm going to try to add on a digikey. So obviously the digikey library is not here. So in the desktop, let me go inside the example. So you see my KiCad project files are right here. And let me do a git in it just to instantiate that this is a git repository. And git status will show me all the KiCad specific projects. Now, let's acquire the DigiKey library, the entire library, as a submodule. So in order to do that, we will do git submodule. We'll do add and then copy and paste the entire git repository URL and I'm going to put it under the directory library slash digikey. So once we do that with git status, now we will see that we have a new file called git modules and under the folder library and digikey, we have the entire digikey library. So if we sort of go inside the library and then digikey and list out all the files, we will be able to see the same folder structure as our GitHub repository, the DigiKey KiCad library. So once we have uh, added it as a sub-module, we will go under Manage Symbol Libraries. So under the Global Libraries tab, I have all the global libraries coming from the KiCad symbol directory, but the project-specific one is completely empty. And this is exactly where we are going to add it. For the DigiKey, let's uh, go ahead and add the DigiKey symbol. And I'm going to especially look for the DigiKey logic flip-flop. So let me add one and I'm going to put there as DigiKey flip-flop. And under the library part, I'm going to put the name. But uh, specifically, uh, let me go inside and get the path. So this is the path I have. I'm going to get the relative path inside my repository. And I'm going to prepend it here. But uh, KiCad also comes with its own uh, list of environment variables. So I'm going to specially choose this KIP uh, project, like KiCad project uh, mod, as uh, one of the environment variable because this is internally defined by KiCad as the current project absolute path. So let me go ahead and do the dollar curly braces and that path. And uh, OK, let me press OK. And now when I go ahead and search DigiKey, 
you have the DGK flip flop. So why don't I go ahead and choose one? And I'm going to put it right here. So this is coming from DigiKey. key. So once again, when we go to the folder structure, we will also see a new file being created, which is like sim lib table. And if we look at the contents of this file, you will also see that the URL to the, uh, the library is, uh, the symbol library is listed right here. Now, because this is a Git sub module, we can actually tag it to the specific Git uh, SHA-1 commit. Now, for this uh, DigiKey library, I have the SHA-1 commit, uh, the latest one, I believe. So if we compare this number, it actually matches. So you see it's EFE33. And if you come to the latest commit, it is also the same. Now, the cool thing is, let's say you want to go to some other commit. So I'm just going to randomly choose one. And let's say it's uh, this commit, 7A1169. I can actually uh, go inside the library and then DigiKey where the submodule resides and I can actually do a git checkout that SHA-1 commit. My git submodule will now have that particular SHA-1 commit. So once again, if I do a git submodule status, you will see that it is coming from an older SHA-1 commit. So why don't I go ahead and uh, basically git add everything and I'm also going to git committed. Similarly, why don't we go ahead and do the footprints? So for this, uh, let me quickly go ahead and annotate it. And then I'm going to try to associate this symbol with the footprint. So now from the list of uh, the associations of the footprint, I do not find DG keys. So if I try to also search for it, I cannot find it. So specifically, I'm going to look for the data sheet of this uh, CD4013BE, which is a uh, flip-flop. And uh, I found it from the Texas Instruments. So I'm going to specifically look for this 14-pin uh, SOIC, but from the DigiKey library, which is uh, currently not available. So let me come back here and uh, under the foot print uh, management libraries, let me do something very similar as what I did for the symbols. So let me add one and I'm going to say it's DigiKey, DigiKey actually footprints. Because if we come to the global library and if we uh, see the similarity, they are all uh, .pretty files. So I'm going to also come to the library path. So let me get to the library path and it should be under footprints.pretty. So I'm going to copy this and put here. And as usual, I'm also going to get this uh, environment variable, which refers to the current project absolute path. And I'm going to append it right here. Now, when I go back to the e schema symbol editor and try to associate it, uh, let's search for DigiKey once again. And there you see DigiKey footprints is right there. So let me try to get that. DigiKey footprints and why don't I look for SOIC 14 and there you see under DigiKey footprints SOIC 14 is available. So I'm going to go ahead and click and associate it with the symbol and uh, let me create a net list. And now when I open the footprint and uh, get the rat's nest, a very simple one, only one symbol, of course. There you see the symbol is here. Uh, the footprint is right here. And if I try to edit it, you will see that the library reference is actually coming from DigiKey footprints. So we can also go ahead and uh, now add everything, add footprint. Now the cool thing is we know that uh, the SHA-1 commit of the DigiKey was a little older one. Now what if you want to update it to the latest commit? So for this, you can also do git submodule update and then uh, refer it to the path of the git submodule. And you see, it will check out the latest one. And if we go to GitHub, we will see that the latest one is uh, the same SHA-1 commit. And uh, once again, your git status will actually tell you that you have some changes just by updating the submodule. And you can go ahead and commit it and then say updated, um, update uh, KiCad library. 
So I just want to quickly show you a couple of my projects where I am acquiring the same Kaiket library, but with two different SHA-1 commits. So over here, you see it is a different SHA-1 commit. And I'm acquiring the same library with another SHA-1 commit. And this is this becomes really, really powerful. And when I click on it, it actually goes to the specific Git repository with that specific commit. So this really, really becomes easy for version controlling and uh, sharing your uh, common symbols and footprints. So that was it about uh, how I'm using Git sub modules with uh, KiCad. Um, how are you doing your library management? Are you using Git sub modules like Peter and me? Maybe uh, Peter is doing it in a slightly different manner. I do not know, but this is how I've been using it and I am really, really enjoying it, uh, liking it. And uh, hope you try out KiCad and the KiCad library management part of it.